supposed to be living unto him. He gave up his life for you. So you're supposed to give up your life of, of sin for him. But you know what? You got people that's in the truth and they, they, time is going by and they start thinking back. They start thinking back to the life of evil. and <laughs> Start seeing other people's examples and behold, this is the ungodly who prosper in the world. And they start looking at MTV and reality television and, and housewives and high heels and champagne and strawberries in the glasses. And I want to live that life. I want to have some fun. <laughs> they start looking at phony programs like people in love and they're sitting there looking at each other. I, I want to be in love like that. <laughs> so now you want to search. You want to search. You hunting. You a hunter. But you're not hunting. You're not hunting the Israelites like God, you know. You have to your own way. You're looking for your soulmate in the world, okay? <laughs> okay. Your dream job. <laughs> I want that crib. You want to live like that? I'm going after this, okay? And you're forgetting about God. You got your child training, okay? <laughs> They're training you. I got to give her this opportunity. Ain't nobody else going to take care of her. But she's training on the Sabbath. <laughs> oh, really? Ain't nobody else going to take care of her? <laughs> Somebody going to take care of her. You better. Breaking Sabbaths, breaking laws, going about your own way and swearing you say, but yet you come to the temple. Praise, 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 praise. You want to do it your way, okay? You comfortable as hell. Like this conversation making people uncomfortable. You don't want to be talked to like that because this is making you think now, okay? The fear of God. He read some scriptures where God said he's going to require things. So. He read some verses where the Lord said, whosoever don't listen. Okay? And here it is, you know you ain't been listening. You want to keep going down that, 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 that evil path. You in the world, everything that you're trying to get, you're trying to get from the world. But then you're trying to figure out how could it be evil? <laughs> the whole world is evil, okay? Some of you got this. I see some of you not clapping. I'm not, I'm not trying to make you clap, okay? I'm talking over your claps, okay? You act like I'm waiting on the clap, clap. Some of you got this in here. My, my boss is nice. Your boss could be nice, okay? What that got to do with anything? That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Why are you even saying that, okay? <laughs> if my boss is nice, I'm going to be like, listen, man, I ain't trying to toot my own horn, but when your ways please the Lord, even your enemies are at peace with you. I'm not going to forget that's my enemy. What is, happening with, what is happening with the congregation of what's supposed to be the righteous? How are you forgetting the doctrine? How are you forgetting the doctrine? Everything in this world is wicked. You're supposed to be suspect of everything. Some of you be going on naive into stuff. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is a good deal right here. End up robbed beyond measure, okay? Because you know, you're too damn simple. Thinking there's some righteousness in this world. The book of 1 John, get 1 John chapter 5, whoever was in the one reading. 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. You're supposed to understand the only way you're going to survive in this world is by doing things God's way. That's the only way. If you ain't going to do things God's way, then you're going to get got. You're going to get caught up. You're going to get all caught up in Satan. And his goal is to make sure that you are away from God. That your focus has changed. That you're not trying to establish Christ Jesus. No, establish yourself. That's the priority. Why is Satan doing this to you? Because he realized that that's destruction to your soul. That's certain second death, okay? 
Not the death of the body, the death of the soul. The book of First, that's first Psalm, John chapter 5, verse 19. Get that. It says what? First John chapter 5, verse 19. Get that. Who got it? God. Read it. And we know. Read on. That we are of God and that the whole world. Okay, you're supposed to know that you are of God. You're supposed to understand this. And that this world that you're living in, this world that Christ said not to love, neither the things that's in it, that whole world, read on. Liar. Does what? Liar. Do what? Liar. Read on. In wickedness. How many parts of the world? The whole world. How many parts of the world? The whole world. Half of the world. The whole world. Three quarters of the world. The whole world. One fourth of the world. The whole world. How much of the world? The whole world. All of the world. The whole world. The whole world is all wicked. In order order for you to be successful, um, in order for you to be safe, you need the blessings of God. This whole place is evil. And how you going to get those blessings if you're running away from God? Trying to establish yourself in this evil world. This whole place is wicked. Life is continuing on and you ain't even, you ain't even paying attention to life, okay? You ain't even seeing what's happening in some people's lives. And what's happening in the world as a whole. The world as a whole, as long as you've been alive. I want any one of y'all to tell me. As long as you've been alive. Some of you've been alive 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Need I keep going? Okay. I'm going to stop right before I get to 100. I don't think there's somebody in this room 100, but some people have been alive for a long time. Can you tell me have, when have you ever seen the period of your life where you've seen peace in the world? Please tell me. Please tell me. See, we got scriptures in the Bible where it says Solomon had 40 years of peace. Tell me, these years you've been living, tell me when you ain't never seen a conflict just pop off. A war just erupt out of nowhere. Ain't no peace. Let's say if my God to the wicked, this whole place is wicked. You see people go through all kind of ordeals in their life. And what is God doing for you if you're doing things this way? Hold that and let's get the book of St. John chapter 17. Go to St. John chapter 17. Look what he's doing for you. And then you're going to try to go and do things your way? St. John chapter 17, verse 15. Read that for me, please. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Okay, we know it's wicked, we know it's evil, but we still got to be here. So what did Christ say? I pray that you don't take them out of the world. Read on. But that thou shouldest keep them. Read it again. But that thou shouldest keep them. Read it one more time. But that thou shouldest keep them. Read on. From the evil. From the evil that is in this world. So out of all that's going on, the Lord is protecting you. He's sending his angels to encamp around you. You ain't see peace your whole time. You've been living on this planet, but God's been protecting you. And some of you want to try him. You want to turn your back and, 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 and walk away. Some of you thinking about the life you had before you came into the truth. Them things what I'm saying, though. I used to have fun. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like this, you know. I used to have a good time. That's all I said. Some of you missed the way things was, okay? You missed the attention. Some, some sisters want t- attention again. Oh, you look nice. You start to get flattered. Huh? Huh? What, what was that you said? I said, you look nice. Oh, I'm married. I, I'm just saying, you look nice. Thank you. I want to hear I look nice again. Let me call this person again. Uh, hello, what you say? How good I look. <laughs> Lord knows my husband ain't telling me how good I look. Tell me again. Tell me again. Just loving all the evil that come with this place. You're on the job. Your boss is hanging over the desk. Your lip drooling. You're just having a good old time. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm doing good. They, they like me on the job. You're supposed to be offended beyond human resources. There's supposed to be all kind of reports filed. You flattered. How are you 
flat. What, what can be on the mind of these individuals in this wicked world? Of course you're going to. No, that's a, you see, my job is different. <laughs> People on my job not like that. <laughs> right? In your school or whatever, whatever you're doing in your walk of life. You know, don't act like you ain't in this world and you don't know what I'm talking about. The whole place is evil. And if you're getting some rest, you're getting some peace, it's because God is allowing that. You want to go back to when the day, when days were evil. Because what does the Bible tell us in, in um, St. John chapter 3? That men love darkness. So that's when you know that you start going back into what things used to be. Some of you connect back with old boyfriends. And that's where Facebook come in. That's why you want to shut them pages down. You know what's up. You want to be, you want to be found. You know you want to be found, okay? You want to be found? Oh, this, oh, this is John from third grade? John? Wow, John. It's been so long, John. Send five pinks. <laughs> you want to be found, okay? Sneaking around now. Now you're all about the world. You're not focusing on what, what Christ is telling you. When people, you know, when people come to you, you, know, you, don't, you don't put the shield of faith up. And take out the sword of salvation. You don't do that. When they leave you, they're supposed to be leaving enlightened. Now you go and you conform it to their way. You start thinking about them old days. You think it was better than, than what you're dealing with now. But what you're dealing with now is taking you to the kingdom of God. And you want to and you want to think about how things used to be? Right? Right? Let me show you what God said here. Look at this. Look at this. Let's get the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 in the, Apocryph in the Bible. Ecclesi Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Okay? That ain't nothing but the devil. Okay? A friend from your past is Satan. Okay? That's, that's, bro that's brothers and sisters. How about that? Brothers, stop laughing. <laughs> that's sisters too? That's sisters too? Okay, you're supposed to be, everything is supposed to be a fruit on a tree, period. It's supposed to be potential fruit that's going to go in your basket. It ain't supposed to be no personal relationship. All those other, when you see them, I don't care how close y'all was 50 years ago. It's supposed to be all about Christ because that's what you're living for now. You ain't living to recollect those memories. <laughs> to revisit that time and sit there and sigh looking at <sighs> <sighs> Look at what God said in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, people. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 10. Read it. Say not thou. Read on. What is the cause that the former days read on were better than these? Yeah, why was the time that I was in the world better than the time I'm living now? The Lord said, That bet not come out of your mouth. What do you mean the, the evil life is better than the righteous life? The Lord said, you better not be caught saying that. Read it again. Say not thou. Read on. What is the cause? Read on. That the former days Read on. were better than these. Read on. But thou doest not inquire wisely concerning this. You see what the Lord said? You are dumb as hell. <laughs> you trying to go back into thinking that that was the best time of your life? The evil time? The time that was leading to hell and destruction and death? Now, you're not thinking wisely. And every time, see, when the, when the, y'all remember this, when the Lord delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt, what happened? They wanted to go back into Egypt. They started thinking about that life. Even though they was in chains and in hard bondage. Just because it wasn't a bodega on the corner in the wilderness. They couldn't just go get some fried chicken. See what happened to Negroes went back to Egypt. Because at least there we had onions. <laughs> they must have been sauteing the hell out of the onions. Yeah? 
that you'd rather get your back whipped, build buildings, make cities just so you can eat a good lunch. 